Today we'll be learning about creating grading criteria in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise, you'll create a grading criteria set for a ditch grading. Then create three criteria in the set. Each grading criteria provides a standard formula for creating a graded slope. Individual criteria values can be locked so they cannot be changed for individual gradings. This exercise continues from reviewing grading settings. Now this exercise uses the grading-1 drawing in your tutorials folder. Let's go ahead and go into your tool space and then click on the settings tab. Next, expand your grading collection. Then expand the grading criteria sets collection. The Grading Criteria Sets collection displays the existing grading sets for the drawing. You'll create a new grading criteria set when you create two new criteria within the new set. Right click on the Grading Criteria Sets and click New. Now that we're in the Grading Criteria Set Properties dialog box, go ahead and enter in the following name. We're going to call this Ditch Criteria Set. Then as an option you can enter in a description. We're going to skip that and go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice the new Grading Criteria Set within the Grading Criteria Sets collection. Go ahead and right click on our new Criteria Set and select New. We now have a Grading Criteria dialog box and make sure you're on the Information tab. In the Name field, go ahead and type in the following Distance at negative 6%. This grading criteria creates a grade to a distance of 10 feet at negative 6% grade. Go ahead and click on the Criteria tab. Now type in the following parameters. We're going to leave the target at distance. We're going to specify that distance at 10 feet. For projection, we're going to leave it at slope. For format, we're going to change it to grade. And that grade will be negative 6%. And for the grade parameter, I'm going to check this little lock right here to go ahead and lock that. When you lock a grade value in grading criteria, you're not prompted to specify its value each time you use the criteria. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and expand your ditch criteria set and you'll see our latest. Let's type in a new one. Right click on the criteria set again and select new. We're going to create a second criteria by repeating the previous procedure. However, we're going to use a different name. We're going to call this surface at 4 on 1 slope. Next, go to the criteria tab. We're going to specify the target as surface. The projection we're going to leave at cut fill slope. For search order, we're going to leave it at cut first. Let's set the values for the cut slope projection going up and the fill slope projection going down. For each one, we're going to keep the format at slope. But the slope, we're going to type 4 to 1. This criteria creates a grade to an existing surface at a 4 to 1 slope. Go ahead and click OK. Now for the third criteria set, right click and we'll add a new name. Relative elevation at 3 to 1 slope. 
and we're going to go to the criteria and set the following parameters. The target, we're going to change that to relative elevation. We're going to have a relative elevation of negative 3. The projection, we're going to leave it slope. For slope projection, we're going to leave the format at slope. But we're going to change the slope to 3 to 1. This criteria creates a grade to a relative elevation of negative 3 feet at a 3 to 1 slope. Go ahead and click OK. So that's how you go about creating grading criteria in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.